I'm so excited to be trying out the Meredith Duxbury collab today. Jumbo, please. I don't know who needs to hear this, but. Girl, it's your season. What are you doing? If not check, you, check, check it out. Morphe Meredith palette. Let's open it together. Let's spend my money so you don't have to spend yours. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment down below, and join the fam. Let's get into it. So this is what the palette looks like. When you first open it, it comes with instructions on how to create the perfect Meredith eyes, depending on the eyes. She says, you guys, I'm so excited for you to capture my signature look. You already know how much I love gloss and glam, and this collection is literally dripping in it. I was inspired by the idea of lounging by a New York rooftop pool and full face glam for a flawless look with an unexpected wet effect finish. I know you'll love it as much as I do. Oh, that's so cute. The glitter, gold glitter here. City of Dreams. Oh, she got... Her man's on here. That's cute. Come on, man's. I need to find me a man that I love that much to put on my palette, period. Lobster roll. Girl, these names are way too cute. She has Scrunchies, Brandon, Diamond, Iceberg, Daiquiri, The Hamptons. She has You Guys. Her names on here, they're, they're too cute. The names are too cute. So I cannot wait. To glam and then there's a mirror actually it's perfect when you go on vacation you take this palette there is a mirror there's not enough mirror in your hotel room or wherever it is that you're going your makeup palette has one that is so cute okay let's have in the next one this is the multi effect palette power multi Same message on this palette, two, and then double dip, dripping gold, rose, PDA, caviar. I like how caviar is black. City girl, oh baby, please me, top tier. Oh, that's cute. The name, the her names are very very cute, and these are the colors. This is too cute. I'm actually gagging at how cute this actually is and then the other one is the eye face lip gloss for that wet effect that she was talking about um i think you put this eye face it's a lip gloss you can put it on your eyes so yesterday i did a mugler look i wish i had this yesterday for my shoes so i can test it out but I will say, the gloss at the end of my shoot, it made me look like a wet dog. And I did not really like it. And the one I used was like a lip oil. So maybe that will be different. We're going to test it out today. So let's get into the eyeshadow. Me, what has been helping my eye glam, and i kind of been enjoying it, is my tape. I know it's an old thing, but I'm really here for it been enjoying it. I like it. I'm putting the tape at the end of our eyes. Perks of laughing long nails, you guys. Just perks. The perks of having long nails. You waste stuff sometimes, and it's okay. I'm a little clumsy today, so excuse moi. Y'all, why am I saying excuse moi like I speak French? I wish I spoke French. But I do speak Vietnamese fluently. 
sometimes I do have words that I stumble on because I've been in America for so long, but definitely want to learn French. When I was in Paris, I loved every moment of Paris and I wanted to speak French to everyone, but all I know how to order was, can I get a coffee please? um good morning good night and thank you you're welcome you know basic stuff and i kept saying it i was like hi my name's new how are you and you know french but anyways i put concealer on my face so we can neutralize what the shadow is going to be lounging by a new york rooftop pool in full glam so i think i want to do a smoky I with a cut crease or should we do a black call me a car is calling me so we're gonna start off with that and let's see how pigmented and easy to blend that is cute It's not as black as I would want the color black to be, but let's build it and see. So that's the first layer of what the black looks like. The color is called Call Me A Car. Is it giving Call Me A Car? Okay, it's turning black how I would want it, period. Oh shit, I think it's over it. Oh. I think, yeah, it's black. That just came out of nowhere. I think I'm gonna do the whole lid black since it already went there. Jesus Christ, I have zero control. You guys, I use a flat beer brush to blend this out and making it more seamless and not show a crazy black. Is the rest of the black that's on here to shade it on top. Duxbury and this flat, flat brush. This gives me the perfect eyeliner. And with the tape guiding me, my eyeliner is always on point. Do you see that? This brush and the tape saves my life every single time. If you're not a pro and you want your liner to look as poppin' as possible, try this technique, I promise you. It will save you so much time and effort and it will make your life so much easier. I love this brush. And the brush is from Aqua Studio E1115. For the store name, but if you look this Aqua Aqua Studio brush up, it will pop on and you will know. Another one of their brush that I'm gonna use is F16. It's a little brush, you can use whichever is most comfortable with you. And then I think I wanna add some glitter. This rose from this palette color is so pretty, so. I'm gonna see. Okay. She's doing something on the second part. Let's see, hold on. Do I need to use my finger for a better effect or what's going on? The solution is always your finger. I feel like the best applicator to this day for glitter. I feel like the glitter could be better, but it's cute. I would give this um, I'll give the palette a cute, let's see. It was really easy to blend, but do I need to like absolutely buy this palette? I'm not quite there yet. I'm not really quite that convinced. It's affordable and it's easy to blend and the glitter is okay. So... If you need in need of a palette and you want to try something cool and cute, she's cute. 
she's cute but it's not an absolute must you know what I mean but can you blame them because there's so much palette in the world right now if I would purchase this palette it's really just to support Meredith and everything that she's doing so if you're a fan try it out she's cute but another color it says let's try the goddess that I am it's like a gold and see if that is more shimmer than the one I put okay this one is a little bit more shimmer I like it she's cute she's not that pigmented but she's easy to blend and for the palette that's $34 at Ulta and you can get it on sale at Morphe right now for like 23 bucks which is a really good deal for a palette that gives you this much color and the shadow uh, the glitter is at a good price now let's see what happens when I put the oil on She's lightweight, she's not super thick, like the one I tried yesterday from my lip oil. If she was a dollar, so she was giving um, drippy. This one is better than that one. She is cute. She's not thick, she feels really light. Her. Let's take the tape off. The tape just cleans out everything and makes it very sharp. So I don't have to like clean it off. I love the tape. I love the tape thing. The tape thing is so good. My skin is already prepped. So let's go in with the concealer. Ooh. I ask myself this all the time and if you don't know the answer to it it's okay sis I ask I struggle with the same question the question is how do I know when a palette is a good palette of course the answer this typical standard answer is that when it blends really good and the pigmented the pigment is very blendable right I have bought expensive, expensive, I mean like in the 50s eyeshadow before, like Lancome. A palette I definitely 100% want to try out and just have yet to spend my money on is Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath. She is the grand, I think, you know how people say Gris Griselda was the godmother of cocaine? Well, I think Pat McGrath is the grandmother of um, the makeup brand. Where is my contour? Milk. This is so little, I misplace it all the time or sometimes it's in my face and I don't see it. But anyways, I have yet to buy her palette and I just... I feel like I need to just invest into it because I hear nothing but great things about that. But I can't seem to bring myself to buy it because, girl, it's kind of so expensive. But, you know, everything that is, is an investment, everything that is expensive, not everything, most things that are expensive, there's quality in it, but sometimes there isn't, and I'm scared to <laughs> buy it, and it be a flop. When I buy makeup, I really don't like returning it. Like, I get it. If you buy something, you don't like it, you can return it. Like, I totally understand. I get it. But I just don't want to. Like, I don't want to be that gal. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to return it, but the product has to be really bad for me to return it. So yeah, there's that. I just don't. When you contour, 
Blend it up, sis. Don't blend it down. But the next palette, I'm gonna buy Pat's and we're gonna review it. I know I'm kinda late in this game, but better late than never. <laughs> This foundation from Lancome though, so good. Very skin-like, very smooth. If you don't like a heavy glam, you just want a glowy skin. This one's so good. Look at it. She's giving a light glam, but she's still giving glam. We all love a pink vibe here on my channel. Love the pink vibe because it makes us feel more vibrant, more youthful. Well, we as in me. I think pink makes you look youthful. And dolly. The doll vibes. Of course, I'm going to get the foundation all over my shirt. You know, makeup for me is more like therapy because after I do this glam, I'm taking it off. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I used to have... That problem where if I glam I feel like I need to go somewhere and show up my glam because I took my time on it and I want to go and be cute I don't want to feel like I've wasted my makeup but now now I do it for the content I vibe and I take it off <laughs> like me now me two years ago would be like, oh my god, I just put all this makeup on. Somebody needs to see my artistic ways. And it'd be the most basic like glam ever, but that's how I felt. Like that's legit. My favorite palette contour right now, but I dropped I drop my makeup all the time. And if you're that girl that be that drops your makeup, don't feel bad because you're not the only one. I drop it too. It's okay. But it just gives me the perfect, cute, contoured glow that I want. So good. Too cute. And then I use my pressed Bobbi Brown. This color is deep and I use it to bronze. So press powder and I tend to do this when I want my bronzer to stay. Using press powder works so much better for me than bronzer. I don't have to buy a million products. If it works, I'm just gonna use it for that. I feel like press powder works better for me and bronzer it just looks more natural but do what feels right honey and then i'm using a press powder <laughs> that's very bright the lightest color that i can find so i can brighten up my under eyes just my under eyes nowhere else going in with my milk bro Actually, I'm going to see on this palette if we can outline our lip. Yes. Speak Easy is going to be a perfect lip color. Ooh. Let's try the color Espresso Martini from the palette to do the lip. This is the Glam Jam. I would rank this palette, the collection, I would rate it a 6 out of 10. Only because the colors that I've used is blendable. The glitter wasn't that spectacular, but it's affordable. It's a great starting point. If you're starting off your makeup, I think Morphe makes it very affordable for the girls. So I think it's cute. Is it a staple to me? I don't personally think so because there's other palettes out there if you invest just another 15 or 20 bucks like the Mario palette 
a staple like a vibe like it gives you the everyday glam but this palette it has color it has black it has glitter it has everything that you would want if you want to do color you have color if you want to do black and neutral color she has that also and she makes it super affordable so morphe they be collabing with other artists and they make it really really affordable for the girls so that's why we enjoy our morphe collabs this one has a great price to it i enjoyed it i would i repurchase this palette probably not because i try to get new palettes every time I repurchase because there's so much out there for you to try so yeah she did good though she did good for tuning in I'll see you guys Sunday at our girls chit chat bye guys oh don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below